Hi, everyone. So welcome and thank you for uh, joining me with Keeping It Real with E on my YouTube channel. And so I am um, a little bit behind schedule and it's because I've been volunteering as a substitute teacher at my daughter's school, which has been a lot of fun. Um, and so I, uh, I have so much inside like this going crazy to get out. And I know that I've been sharing the, the, um, the last months of my mother's life and which is the catalyst of this channel. Okay. Is about God is faithful. God is real. He is personal and he is powerful. And in the, in the midst of every single circumstance and, but the catalyst was for me to share about my mother and her journey with brain cancer and how she always says that God does not give you cancer. He sees you through cancer. And um, <clears throat> so I am just going to go ahead and dive in about the last week, week and a half of my mom's life here on earth. Okay. Whew. So it was um, the month of December. I already shared that um, she was able to make it through Christmas time, even though she was not 100%. She was her 100%, and that's what mattered. Then there was a transition period where there was uh, days and days and days. There were days and days where no recognition, no nothing, just sleeping, like deep sleeping. And uh, we just kind of went with it, you know. And so we uh, came through the first uh, of ever the Happy New Year, January into 2019. And uh, she would wake up periodically and then she would go back to sleep and wake up periodically and go back to sleep so let me just say if you are uh, a caregiver or a loved one and you're working with cancer or i can only speak to brain cancer but there's going to be transition periods and i remember feeling very inadequate and very insecure because i wanted her to have the best of everything because i knew that our time was limited and so I thought, okay, I have to do all these things, all these checklists, you know, all of this stuff. But sometimes that doesn't work out like that. The patient, they dictate what they need. So there were days where there was no medication given, not even even with the um, the little the little syringe in their mouth, nothing. And you're thinking, oh my gosh, am I doing a bad job? Like, what is happening? The patient knows their body, even, even though they're struggling and even though they're in the midst of a transition period. So anyway, I just had to share that. Okay, so the Friday um, before my mother passed away, it was exactly one week before, it was a Friday morning and I called my girlfriend, Sherry, and I said to her, um, Sherry and my mom have always had a very, very close relationship, and her mother, uh, Candy, and my mom are very good friends. And uh, so Sherry, I called her, or I sent her a note, I don't remember exactly, but all I know is I said, hey, listen, I think time is really, 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 like we're on limited time right now. I need to I want you to come over. If you want to spend time with mom, with, with, with Nani, you need to come over. And so I got my daughter to school. By the time I got over to my mother's place, uh, Sherry was there already. And Sherry was, I will never forget this. I'm so sorry. It's my cat again. Anyway, Sherry was rubbing my mother's hands with a uh, lavender oil and just talking to her and 
my mom at that point, mom had been in and out for weeks on end, like just, you know, asleep for days and then awake enough to have some sponges in her mouth and then she'd go back to sleep. But she did not want any medication. And this is what threw me. I'm like, I've got bukus of major drugs up here. And she refused them. Like her, her lips would terse up. She would not take the medication. And I kept watching her sleep. But I knew she wasn't sleeping. She her her physical body. Okay, just 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 follow me, please. Just follow me. Her physical body was here. Her physical body was here, but she was not here. And I finally told my husband and Sherry and a, a few other intimate people. I said. I think my mom is in the presence of the Lord. Like she's with God right now, but her body's still here. But she's she's just like this. Okay. So this Friday comes before the week the week of, I mean exactly seven days before my mom graduates. <laughs> and uh, Sherry came over and I found her. She was with my mom and she was rubbing a lavender lotion or oil or something on her hands and talking to her. And my mom's eyes had not been opened at all. Guys, like not at all. And she, um, I was in the room. I was in the other part of the apartment um, with her caregiver, Marlon. And uh, Sherry was sitting next to my mother. And she was talking to her and I heard my mom's voice. Well, I hadn't heard her voice in like over a week easily. It was very, very soft, but I heard her voice. And I ran in, I, I like ran over there into the room. And they're holding hands. And my mom's eyes were like fishy, you know, like glazed over. And Sherry says to Sherry says to my mom Mama Karen Mama Karen you know the Lord has you you know the Lord has you and my mom my god it was so amazing she she had her head like this way and then she turned over to Sherry and I was right there next to Sherry and her both of her eyes opened and um they were glistening they were they were just vibrant and dancing and happy and she said oh yeah he has me, and I have him, and it's wonderful, and there's so much to do, and I have to go. And her voice was like a singing song. Her voice wasn't like our voice. It didn't sound... I don't know how to explain it. Like tethered with time. It was a sing-song voice. It was just beautiful. And it was very pure. And her eyes were dancing. But yet what was on the side of her head was pulsating. And she had not had any medication. Like, she was refusing all the drugs we were giving her. And 
I wanted, like, as her daughter, obviously, it was like, no, I'm keeping my mom safe. Like, I don't want her to hurt. I don't want her to hurt. But what the Lord was showing me, what God was showing me was that she's with me. And she's no longer hurting. And it was so incredible when I saw my mom that way. And it was so gracious of God to let me see her and Sherry and Marlon hear her and see her and just say, oh no, he has me and I have him. And it's beautiful and wonderful and I have to go. And there's so much to do. Like That's exactly what she said and how she said it. It was just beyond anyway that was the um the friday seven days exactly to when my mom um went to be in eternity she was ready and so that's that <laughs> um i want to be able to share uh, well, I am going to what happened a few days later. Um, but today was really powerful for me to get out because it's it's been very sacred to me. It's been very sacred to watch my mom, you know, transition. And God was so good enough, like, to let us have that insight of what she was seeing and what she was feeling. And so when I weep and I cry, it's because I, I miss her, but like, God is so good. Sorry. Oh, goodness gracious, that silly cat. Yeah, you. <laughs> you. No, you. It's a cool day in uh, Texas right now. Anyway, my cat wants to go outside. But nevertheless, I just want to be able to share like how God is so faithful and he's so good. And that, oh my God, I'll never forget that day. And not many people get that. She, she did not need the medication anymore. She didn't need it here in this earth, in this world. She was already beyond this world. So I just want to say that. As a, again, like, this world is temporary. We're in the physical. None of this means anything. Our souls and our spirits are everything. And God is so faithful and he is real. And he's not some cosmic thing out there. It is, he is personal. It is a personal personal relationship and experience with the most high God who created everything in this universe. Nothing is by accident. Nothing is by accident. Anyway, I just, uh, thank you very much. And, uh, I can't wait to share the whole last week of my mom because it was, it was like really, really incredible too. <laughs> so, as always, God is for you. He is behind you. He is beside you. And he walks before you. And then may the Lord bless you. And may he keep you. And may his face shine upon you in goodness and peace. He covers you. He loves you with a radical love. 
and your soul is important to him. Make no mistake. Make no mistake. You are valuable. God bless.